the other thing that I see is untrained um, folks that they get kind of digging into these projects and the timeline gets away from them. So instead of there being a hard deadline, we will go on market on this date. Um, the first week we're getting the landscaping uh, spring cleanup finished. We are going to have the laundry room repainted. We are doing the deep clean, the home organization, and then the last three days of the week, the stagers are coming. We're going on market on Thursday. There will be no timeline. And so things go on month after month after month. And that just causes family fatigue, uh, but it also is affecting, again, the unoccupied home, the weather damage that can happen, vandalism thieves that are attracted to such homes. And so that's another reason not to over-improve the dated house. Plus the return on investment, if you look for a new kitchen, what the return on investment is, it is only 83%. So you're losing money on that new kitchen. Some people don't realize that. They think it's going to like, they'll get twice back what they put in, but that is not the case. That's why most renovations and remodeling is done for the benefit of the occupant of the home because they want to enjoy their home for another seven years. And they're willing to take a loss on it because it's going to be exactly what they want. And they realize you have to pay for quality. So avoid extra work and lost money for no financial benefit by keeping this pitfall in mind and heeding this advice. <laughs>